college, I did one of those food sensitivity tests and it told me that I was sensitive to 30 different foods, including mango. Fast forward a few years, I went to grad school to get my master's of science in nutrition. To be honest, I didn't listen to the sensitivity test because it was so unrealistic and I was like, this is ridiculous. What am I just not gonna eat food? My third day of class, I'm in my nutrition and metabolism class and these food sensitivity tests come up. I'm like, hmm. Interesting. I definitely wasn't expecting to learn what I did about them, and I wish everyone knew this. Spoiler, they're a fucking scam. What these food sensitivity tests do, like say in Everly Well, is test for IgG antibodies in your blood. Don't get this confused with an allergy test, which tests for IgE antibodies. They base your sensitivities on high levels of IgG antibodies in the blood. But here's the kicker. The presence of IgG antibodies in the blood is a normal response of the immune system after eating food. What high levels of IgG antibodies indicates actually is a tolerance to foods. It can be an indicator that you just ate these foods recently or eat them often. So it's no coincidence that everyone who takes these tests and gets on TikTok and says all of their favorite foods they're sensitive to that they eat all of the time. Yeah, of course, because that's what these tests test for. This test has never been scientifically proven to do what it says it does, which is why the American Academy of Allergies, Asthma and Immunology advises to not use these tests. They are quite literally charging you to tell you the foods that you eat often or just ate recently, and then they tell you that you can't eat them because you're sensitive to them on no basis whatsoever, other than absolutely manipulating the fuck out of a normal response that happens in our body. Mind blown. As a board certified allergist and member of the American Academy of Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology, I applaud this person for beautifully debunking the myth about at home food sensitivity testing. Everything that she said was completely accurate, and on a regular basis, I see people coming into my clinic with this type of testing, throwing hundreds of dollars out the window just to tell them the things that they're eating. I'm going to ask you a question that I ask all of my patients when they come in with food sensitivity testing to help them conceptualize why this testing doesn't make sense. And it goes like this. How does your immune system know that what you're eating is food and it's safe and it's not a germ like a bacteria or virus? Your immune system makes this IgG antibody to help induce tolerance so that it's safe for you to eat those foods. So when you have a test that's measuring that, it's just saying this is what you come into contact on a regular basis. It has no clinical basis whatsoever. There are several other unproven diagnostic tests to look at adverse reactions to foods. And I'm going to give you two examples right now. There are actually companies that will charge you hundreds of dollars to take hair samples and analyze them in the lab to tell you that you are somehow sensitive to foods. But there are no published studies showing that there's actually any clinical benefit to these tests when you try to avoid these foods based on these hair sample tests. There is also something called applied kinesiology where somebody will hold a vial of food of which they think they might be sensitive to and then they stretch out the other hand and an operator will then put pressure on that opposite hand and measure if you have some type of weakness associated with that food to say that you are somehow sensitive to it. This study had 53 people examined by two kinesiologists to see if they could correctly identify a corrosive substance versus normal saline based on this type of technique, and they were able to get it correct about 53% of the time, which basically means that they're just doing this up to chance and it's not an effective tool to help with anything. My take home message for you is that you should be very skeptical of anybody trying to sell you diagnostic testing related to adverse reactions to food to your home, because if you don't have somebody who is specialized to interpret it, it can cause all sorts of problems for you. Wasted time, wasted money, and increased anxiety for no reason.